Ign Ignatius 4 7 here. We gonna go. I gotta talk to this Amari chick. Dr. Amari. Hey. Who are you? Hey. Hey, stay back. Ace 222. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Greetings, Doctor. I wish to download hmm. the data and co programming into a human brain. You. <laughs> you want what? Is she serious? Yeah. Jerry has a lot of pre war research data, but she can't continue her important work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have right. no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like your proposal. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision making. Um. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. Right. So it's possible. So it is possible then? Likely. <laughs> we just need a synth. And I may be able to help with that. I've worked on synths before. Right. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain dead state. Living, mm. but with no cognition. I know a caretaker right. for one of these brain dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. Like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They're understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. You're the contact H222 is talking Yeah. About. Yeah, yeah. Just when I thought Who are you? Stay only back. So much hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Sorry. You were talking to me, weren't you? Yeah. That's fair. I can do that. You're the contact H222 is talking about? Just when I thought one person could only experience so much danger in their life. <laughs> the patient is resting right now. Were you hoping to say goodbye? I don't advise it. He's far past remembering anything about his old life. Old life. Missed my goodbye. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. He talked quite a bit about you before I administered the anesthetic. I'm sorry you didn't have the opportunity. Now, what's your plan for moving him? Hmm. Use original route. We have to use the original route. There's no other way. That's the plan? I thought your people valued discretion. <sighs> but I fine. got it. I won't argue. The Malden Metro Center is where you need to go. All the Gen 1s there need to be gone, understand? All of them. I'm leaving H222 yeah. and his future in your hands. Once he's gone, we never had this conversation. He was never here. Before you leave, take the holotape on the table. It's a personal <sighs> message for your ears only. Oh, uh, what now? Who are you? Hey, stay back. Is it tape you said? I'm confused. Caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. Hopefully, this caretaker will approve of the operation. Yeah. I'm sure I found this, uh. Who are you? Hey, stay back. Hollow tape. Business. Oh. 
Where is it? How weird is that? Wish I could have a keychain. Hmm. Well, perhaps not. Where is this for your ears only note thing? The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. Hopefully this caretaker will approve of your permission. I'm gonna take all your stuff, lady. Who are you? Stay back. I think I did leave it leave it there before. Okay. The doc said I got some sort of contagious disease or something. I I'm under quarantine. Right. Alright, we're gonna wait for. I don't know. 24 hours? We need this uh, caretaker chick to arrive. Take a nap on the couch. Oh, I could use a nap. Myself. I don't know what I got. I just woke up here. Wherever here is. So, you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? Glory. You know What's up? Asleep. We're supposed to protect them. Glory? She wanted new memories. I know. She knew her personality would be all but erased. These are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gift of life. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. Yeah, but will she want to become a walking, breathing tin can? We fought our whole lives to be more than that. G5's off life support. You need to succeed at this one. Mostly because I want the XP. Oh, by the way, I didn't go the route of the nuclear physicist perk. I went with Idiot Savant because it'll help. It'll help in the uh, sacrifice in the future here the of life. gaining experience I, faster. I think she'd like that. Fine, do it. Do it now before I change my mind. Curie, let's begin. I should say disperse, terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right, connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5 this is super cool. Prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I... I... <sighs> my chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability a Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. Curie. That's and promising. That's promising. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. <laughs> the first that comes to mind. Ow. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Borrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed. Very weak. Uh -huh. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh. My insights feel peculiar. Sweet. What is that? I have curie. Maybe grief. You might be feeling grief. 
for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there. My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Burrow. The operation appears successful, but I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help. I will help her. Transition. Thank you, Doctor. And all of her hotness. Hello, hello, my dear. Hey. What do you want? Who Listen, are you? Stay G519 back. G519 went through a lot. She was good. Solid. I hope. Okay. I hope a little of that's still there. And if it isn't, make sure all of this was worth it. With Curie scientific science. skills, there's a real chance she'll help a lot of people down the line. Yeah. Yeah. Here's hoping. Losing G5 was tough. That's right. But I think she would have wanted her death to mean something. See you back at HQ. Later. Who are you? Hey. You need to stay remember back. to breathe. I keep thinking <laughs> if I forget to do this, no more curry. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something, something new. new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. I'll protect you. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. That makes me feel better. Come. I I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. <laughs> hey. Let us begin to outfit her. So one thing, I have a couple of items that might be of important note. Oh, I couldn't really do anything with that, could I? Um, I don't know. Let's see what you look like in the hat. I'm going to fiddle around with these. Nice. <laughs> Armored bathroom. Nah. How about the dress? Well, let's actually look at the bathroom. That is too funny, dude. I like that a lot. Yeah. Covered with the hat. <laughs> and uh well I'm fair I guess we'll leave the hat off for now I like the dress though man it's classy and armored and awesome fantastic let's go Curie with that, we're actually out of time. Ladies and gentlemen. And yeah. Until next time, follow me tuna.